Welcome to the Critical Focus channel and this Warcry battle report using all of the contents in the Fresh of the Print Pyre and Flood box that GW was kind enough to send us as a review copy for free to try out and showcase for you guys. So a massive thank you to them. In today's battle report I am using the Pyregeists while Matthias is sporting the Itrilen Riverblades. Matthias is the blue defender and I am the red attacker for this mission. In this mission my leader is carrying treasure. This this particular treasure is some sort of holy relic, or rather unholy, that must be sacrificed in a Nagash's name at the burial site indicated by the objective token. At the end of the battle, my treasure carrier needs to be within 3 inches of the burial site for me to win, otherwise the pesky elves stops the unholy ritual and wins the day. We have used the name, origins and background generator in the warband tome to generate the specifics of the warbands. The riverblades are the sentinels of the shrine. These warriors once stood silent sentinel over an Idrilan shrine, defending it against intruders and raiders. Most likely then, that is the same shrine the Pyrgeists now are trying to deface. His leader, the Pure Flood Seneschal, is armed with Ithara's darts and is named Ulatha Wave Runner, and is known as the Vow of the Current, a warrior who has undertaken a vow of ceaseless motion, and like the river, itself, he never remains still. The Pyregeists are in fact Lady Olinda's torchbearers, once part of the Mortark of Grief's royal procession, and the Balefire Beacons announced her arrival to the living. They are led by a deacon of flame with pyre keeper's tongs, and this cursed wraith is known as Malachi Baleheart, and is known for his ceaseless shrieking, trapped forever in the agonizing moments of his own immolation. He never stops his awful screaming. So with that, the scene is set. A few words also on the terrain piece included in this expansion, the idol of the old ones. It has a couple of special rules you can use. The broken crystal can in fact be used for a triple to try to target any enemy in line of sight for half the value of the triple for damage, but on a one or two you instead activate it erroneously and take d6 damage. The eyes of the statue can also be used on a double to ransack. Uh, on a one to two you take d3 damage, on a three to four you instead heal three damage, on a five or six you add a wild dice to your saved wild dice. So I think that's it, let's roll and I'll start with hovering the camera over the cards and stuff so you can get a grasp of the fighters and abilities at play here. Enjoy! Okay, I will start with my torch light, torch wraith, sorry, and target one of your little guys here, this one, mm. with the ranged attack here. <laughs> one single hit, off to a good start. That's one damage. Let's do it again. Uh, but with the other one, I hit all of them, so that's three more damage. That's four in total, and he's all done. I use a double 
to do river blades. Yep. On this guy. Right. And what does a river blade mean? Uh, until the end of the fighter's activation, add one to this fighter's move characteristic. And after each action this fighter takes, other than weight action, roll a dice on a roll of 2 plus deal 1 damage to one visible enemy fighter within 8. Alright. In his first he will make a move. So basically you could get extra damage both from that and the twist. Yeah. That's pretty nice. So I go all in with him like that. 2 plus. 2 plus. Yes, so yep. that's one damage. Just about. So one damage on my Bale Fire Guard. And then I will do his attack. Yeah, I am defense five or toughness five. Yeah, and I have strength four. So that's still five still. So. Yeah. Uh, one one hand. So then the twist actually happens then. If you get the two plus, uh, you transform that hit to a critical hit instead. And you do. Yeah. So, so that's four damage. It's four damage, so he's taken five already and he's twelve. For a uh, river blade. Yep, the river blades as well. On a two plus. Yes. yes. So we take one damage. One more damage, so six total. So he's down to fifty percent. Mm. Ouchy ouchy. Yes, I'll use my Bane Fire Guard before he dies. Four attacks with strength four. Mm. So that's four, so I guess. Yeah, I have toughness four. Uh, crit and a hit. Six damage. Mm -hmm. And how much is he total? Ten. Ten, okay. Yeah, let's just do that again. Yeah. Sadly, just. Uh, actually, roll a two plus to see mm -hmm. if that I can transform that into crit with the crashing waves. And I can, mm -hmm. so that's four more damage. So, six plus four is ten. Yeah, yeah exactly six. enough. And then I'll use a double to do the Pyregeist special, mm -hmm. which is to cremate you, which is quite nasty. Uh, and when I do so, I remove the fighter from the battlefield and place a Pyre token at the center of the space occupied by the fighter. At the end of the battle round of the determining control of objectives, allocate three damage to each enemy fighter within one. So if you want to move close to me there, you have to take extra precautions not to uh, take extra damage there. Uh, at the end of the round. Yes. Mm. I will use a double for river blades again with river dance. No, river <laughs> blades. And a huge thanks to Eggwix for yeah. sending us the Warcry tokens and the uh, ruler, I guess it's called. Yeah. Also got these nice ones here. They're really helpful. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Our lovely Steve from Winnipeg. Winnipeg! Winnipeg for the wins. Winnipeg Wam Wampus? Vampus? Wampus. <laughs> Sorry, I will roll the uh, 2 plus now for River Blade. For yeah. The move. So, yeah. Yes. We will take Uno Demo. Uh, on my poor Bale Fire Guard. Yeah. So he's taking um, 7 out of 12. And now I will attack. Range 3 with that uh, silly three, weapon. 4, yeah. Oof! Oh, yeah. Quit hit. Yeah. Seven. No, so. that's four, five. I only have five left. Six. Yeah. Poor Bailey. Yes. Can clear all those tokens. Do you have any more abilities to do there? No, I'm. Yeah, you already did one. So I did yeah. my two. Yeah. yeah. I think I'll attack the one you already activated, that range three dude there. Mm -hmm with my leader's ranged ability, which is two dice, a strength four, you are toughness four, right? Yes. But I will use Pyrobus Curse to add one strength to my attacks. And this is not only to melee, that's actually for all attacks. And if I kill you during this activation, I cremate you as well. Mm. That's fun, but it's only two dice. So yeah, let's see. So five, so three then. Uh, so you yeah, two hits, that's uh, four damage. Mm. Uh, but the second attack is two crits, so that's eight damage. So that's 12 total. So you're cremated here. So much cremating. Uh, so just the retcon here, I could actually not use the Pyrobus Curse on my leader. That's only for the Torch Wraiths, but how the dice went, it didn't really matter. I killed him anyway, but you're not cremated. 
I will double move. Yes, okay. And I can move 10 if I double move. So I will move all the way up there. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's the end of the run. Yes. And this is the battlefield at the end of round one. Now we're gonna spawn. Now we're gonna have some spawns. Hammer Hammers. Hammers. And shield. Shield and dagger. Shield yeah. and dagger. Oh yeah. yeah. We are hey, different. Hey, yeah, here it was. Uh, dagger. My dagger. And, and my it. shield. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but everything spawns now. Yes. And this is what it looks like now that we are all deployed. Mm -hmm. The initial combatants here and some newcomers over here, as well as the leader for the River Blades yes. coming into view. Yeah. So you yeah. will start? Yeah, and I will use yeah. Yeah, him. him in front there. Um, this is my Bale Fire God. Yes. Use uh, onslaught. Onslaught next okay. to dice. Yeah. Yep. Do you rest? Mm -hmm. So four dice. Yeah. Five. Five. Yeah. yeah. Two hits. Two hits. So only two plus. Yes. And you roll a four. So you transform one of those hits to a crit. So that's six that's damage. Six damage. Ouch! 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 That's not good. So one crit. Yeah. So that's four. So, so I still ten. have. Yeah, so I have two life left in him. So. <laughs> well, there we go, new beautiful new tokens. Yeah, very <laughs> impressive. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use him before he dies and attack the other one with rage two here. Uh, but you have a reaction. Mm -hmm. That means lethal gyre. So for each one I roll. Yeah, for each uh, hit roll of one. From that attack action, allocate three damage points to the attacking fighter. Yeah, so if I rule a single one, I will die. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's see Come if on. I kill myself. No, I don't. So that's two hits. Uh, so that's four damage. Yeah, crit and a hit. So that's six damage. Yeah, so he dies now. Yeah, and I don't injure myself. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna use my five to heal five. So he's down to, to five wounds taken. Mm. I will use River Blade. River Blade? Okay. So on his first action, he moves. Then you roll to see if I take damage. Yeah. Two plus. Yes. Yes. So one damage. So he is down to six. Uh, so he's six wounds left. Yep. And then I attack. Yes, I am toughness five. Yep. So five. Five. Yep. I am strength three. Yeah, so roll to see if you can transform hit. a hit into a crit. Yes. yes, you can. So that's a crit. One crit and nothing else. Uh, yeah. So that's three damage. So six, nine damage taken. Uh, so I have three wounds left. Yeah, and then I'm gonna roll for River Blade. River Blade again? Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's 10 taken. Ten again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna use my uh, double, uh, which is my last ability dice, to use Pyro Robber's Curse, which I can then use on the Torch Wraiths to attack this fellow here. And when I do so, I get one extra strength, so that means I hit on. Threes. That's crit and a hit. So that's four damage. Mm -hmm. There's four left. Yep. Yeah. And let's do it again. That's not very good. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's sad because if I would have killed you there, I would have cremated you, and then this fighter next to him would have taken automatic damage at the end of the round. But that plan didn't go as planned. <laughs> No, <laughs> I will just make a normal attack with this. It's your leader. One of the stream runners. Yeah. Yeah. I have uh, runners in the stream. Strength that is what we are. Yeah, I have toughness five. So five. Yeah. So see if hit. you can transform it into crit. Into plus. 
He's stoned? Yes. You, you do. So, free damage. Free damage. Then you get, get a crit, so you don't get to yep. transform anything. So, that's free damage. Yep. So, I think, <laughs> I think I'll just attack back with my leader. Um, so, that is then three attacks with strength five. So, threes. Mm. Uh, crit hit it, yeah. so he's very so dead. He's more dead than a dead. And then I'm gonna use my last attack to attack the other one, which I should be able to see there, right? Yeah. yeah. And he is toughness, not five. Three. So, just one hit though. So, that's just. Uh, two? No, sorry, three. Three on a regular hit with him. Three. Mm. That's my leader done. Mm. I'm just gonna attack normal. So Nothing, you can't thing. transform that. So my second. Nothing. Nothing, very good. Yeah, yeah I'll use my torch wraith to attack your uh, stream runner. So I am only strength three. Mm, toughness three. Yeah, so three uh, force. Yeah. Uh, so let's see if I can transform uh, that into a crit. Yes. yes, I can. So that's crit hit it. So that's three for five damage. Yeah. That's just enough, no? Right? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. But you're not cremated at least. Nope. You're just a rotting corpse. <laughs> you have one more. So much better. Yeah, what to do? How much move does your leader have? Five. I guess I'll just move him up here. Da -da 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 -da. Your leader is doing some shooting on my leader. Mm -hmm. Range eight and you we have measured, so you are within. Four dice. Yes. Eight. Eight crit. Yep. Oh, that's a free damage. Yes. Uh, nothing. nothing. So my leader has taken a nine damage already. Out of twenty. Out of 20, so yeah, let's hope for a respite, I guess. Yes, that's your leader down. And then I just moved one of my... Uh, that's one of my flame wraiths up to kind of assist my leader here. And then you use one of your uh, crest dancers mm -hmm. to move in on my Balefire Guard. And that's uh, strength 3, toughness... 5, so you need 5. Yeah. Come on, crits! Like we did last song! <laughs> <laughs> That's atrocious. That can't feel very good. No. <laughs> <laughs> I moved up my other uh, flame wreath. And then you activate your agile fighter. Yes. The only fighter with the agile rune mark. Uh, let's go here. Something. This is what it looks like. Looks like after round two. Yes, kind of still up in the air here. Uh, I'm just going to move my leader towards the burial site and use a triple uh, to do a respite for two mighty hit points. I will use a triple. All right. And it's called standing wave stands. Cool. A fighter can only use this ability if this fighter has not made a move or disengage action, this activation. And if a fighter uses this ability, they cannot make a move or disengage action, this activation, until the end of the fighter's activation. Add one to the attacks and strength characteristic of melee attack action made by this fighter, and until the end of the battle round, add one to the toughness characteristic of this fighter. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and who is the lucky contender? Him. Him, the range to something. A quest dancer, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So you'll probably kill me. Should I use something? I can't. I could use a universal. Because you are going to attack the one who's very damaged, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's just do the counter, uh, the universal counter. Hit roll from that attack action that misses, allocate one damage point to the attacking factor. Oh. For each hit roll over one, allocate two damage instead. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you get one damage, <laughs> but you kill yeah. me. He's two inches, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So you're looking for threes now, because yeah. I'm only toughness four on the torch wraith. 
I think he's dead, right? Uh, what's uh, that? That's eight. Yeah, he's only ten, ten wounds, so yeah. That's quite a round for you. Mm, that is uh, that's quite uh... Yep, yeah, so I used a rush to lock up uh, the Riverblades leader mm. with one of my flame wraiths. Trying to save my leader here. I, I will use uh, Boiling Wrath. Oh, you have a quad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this fighter makes a number of bonus action, which may be any combination of move, attack and disengage action, uh, equal to the number of fighters from this fighter's battle group that have been taken down. Okay, so that's one. So that's one extra. Bonus actions. Yeah. So it does two moves and then probably an attack. Yeah. Yay. Hey, that's not very good. That did... I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Yes, okay. So, yeah, I'm toughness 5. Uh, yeah, strength five. Race of 5. So. Yeah. No! That was the same before. <laughs> That's pretty lucky for me. Yeah. Especially with the twist. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna use my Flame Wreath to attack the Agile one here. Mm. I have no ability to die, so this is really not much to think of. This is the one with two torches, so he's rolling four dice with strength 4. Your mm. toughness. I will actually use uh, the reaction. Reaction, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if you roll for each hit, roll of one. I take damage. Three damage. You take three damage. So I take three damage, but I hit you three times. Mm. Uh, so that's only. But let's see if I can transform one mm. to a crit then. But I've taken three damage. Yes, so that's crit, hit, hit. So that's three, four, five damage. Mm. But I've taken three. Well, then I can do that reaction again, right? If you want to just yes, yeah, wa waste you them. Yeah, you're probably going to kill yeah, me. So. That's probably wise. Uh, yeah, that's crit hit. So yeah. that's uh, four damage. Yeah, so that's... Uh, no, this one hits as well, well. Because I'm more strength than you. Yeah. So five damage. Yeah, so that's ten. Yeah. And he's eight. And this is the top-down view of the battlefield right now. I think I have to move three. <laughs> Spindly elves with stuff coming out of their bodies. And then five. All right. Yeah, my leader is gonna have some nasty elves to worry about in the upcoming round. Let's see if we can take care of him with our two remaining torch wraiths. Yes, I'm moving this wraith up to attack this one here. Mm, and he is half dead. So. <laughs> uh, so, but I'm not very powerful. Uh, so this is only three dice with strength three. Mm, toughness three. So force. Uh, just a single damage. One damage? Yep. Uh, so they are one four, slash four, three. So, so he's done because he moved. Yes, it's all you. Yeah, I have to... Elf leader. Yeah, I'll try to hit you as much as I can. I am toughness 4. Yeah, and I have strength 4. So, yep. force. Crit hit. Yeah, so that's 5 damage. 5 damage, I have 7 left. And then the second one. Only one. Mm, but I can... No, it's... You it's not. To... It's not a. It's not a melee. It's a range. It's a missile. Yeah. Okay. Because. Uh, yeah, that's very good. You had that loadout, so you can't actually transform no. that into a crit. Yes, my last fighter to activate is the torch rate up here, and he's also going to shoot this one. Mm. So, force, uh, a crit. So that's three damage. Mm. Yeah, and that's the... the end of the battle round. That's round. one round left. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna use my first of two doubles to do fan the flames on my leader. Add one to the damage points allocated by each hit and each critical hit from the next melee attack action made by this fighter, this activation. And then I'm gonna roll three dice with strength five. Mm. One to this one. Mm. So, looking for threes. So, and then we're gonna see if I can transform this one into a crit, and well, not this one, but 
Mm-hmm. So one of these are turned into a great tool via the twist. Yeah, yeah. he dies, yeah. So, hmm. let's just move him like that. I think he's still within three, right? Mm. Yeah. We use a river blade, so I get four. Yeah. And then six. Yeah. So then I will roll if you take damage. No, I don't take damage. <laughs> First one. Yeah. And then I attack you. Yes. So two crits. Two crits. That's, That's uh, eight damage. Eight damage. So let's see if I fall. I don't. No. So I have two wounds left on him. Mm. Taking eight there. But I should also roll for that. Uh... <laughs> no. Well, how much would that have been? One more. One more. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't have mattered. Really. So if I would hit both of them, you would be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you roll two ones on the river blades. Yeah. yeah. So he would be dead there. We go. I guess I'll use this one. And let's use a double for non slot. So that's the um, four attacks with strength four. Mm, I would actually use this reaction. The infection reaction? Yeah. Infection reaction. Infection reaction. So if I roll a one, I take three damage. And for e- each roll a one. For each one. So no ones. Uh, what are your toughness? Four. Four. So only one hit. But I can transform it into a crit. I do. So there's one crit. So that's four damage. Mm. And then I do it again. So I've taken um, ten times two wounds left. So I kill myself. Yeah. But I do. Uh, let's see if I can make a crit out of it. Yeah. So that's crit hit hit. So that's four, five, six damage. Mm. And then I die. Mm. So you don't have anyone left to activate. No. And yeah, should we just call it there, I guess? I, I mean, I could finish off with my leader. Let's. Uh, not bother, I guess. Uh, my leader will just stay there. The other guys will just move in and cheer him on while he buries the elf. That's a sad elf. <laughs> no, you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how did you feel about the rim plates? Mm, yeah, a bit hard to play. This matchup, and I think especially mm-hmm. this mission, was pretty tough for them. Yeah. If it was like a more objective based move all over the place and hug stuff, maybe. Yeah. But I also do have quite a lot of range with the Pyrogast. I can snipe you you a lot as well, and you don't have that much range. No, I don't. Would you have been able to take more ranged options in the loadout than Uh, you did? No. You have one with range 3, and Lila has range 8. You have a couple Mm. of range 2. You could could change the Lila's weapon to range 2, but uh, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I have range 8 on my leader, I have the Torch Wraiths, uh, which are three of them, they are range 8 as well. It's a lot of range mm. in the Pyrogeist, and, and the fact that they are toughness 4 or 5, and strength 5 or 4 or 3, I, I think they're pretty good actually. So that's it for today, hope that you enjoyed the battle report, make sure to hit all the buttons, and I'll let the end credits roll now, take care. This is Mats again, chiming in to thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and to not miss out on future content, ring the bell as well. And if you really liked this video, feel free to click the thanks button just below this video. And if you want to support me even further, you can now become a channel member and claim the title of Critical Focus Fan. Until next time, take care, bye.